Hi everyone. Baby Raymond Starling. Raymond Lawrence, sorry. <laughs> has grown hair. Look at his hair. Well, it's sticking up right now, but he has a he has a little bit of a swirl. And I made it baby thin. It keeps like staticking. I did that last night. And I must have changed him, changed his clothes like, I don't know, four or five times already. I just keep putting him in different things. He's so cute. I like this outfit on him, but I thought I would change him on camera and show off his new hairdo. Let me see. I'm, get, I'm trying to get me not in the shot, but I am in it. All right, so... If no one saw my video, if you haven't seen my video from yesterday of the box opening, this is Baby Ezra by um, Minnie by Manook. She's got a YouTube and she's got a Facebook. Um, Minnie by Manook, M-A-N-U-C-K, I think I'm spelling that right. Probably not, I don't know. Sorry, but she has great communication. This was one of her first babies she ever sculpted and poured. Um, I think he's supposed to be a replica of her son, which the original baby, her baby, has blonde hair. Her son has blonde hair. Um, but, so, he didn't have the pigment she wanted, so this baby was her daughter's for, like, a year. Look at this outfit. This onesie is so cute, little lion. Isn't it cute? So, um, but her daughter didn't really want to play with him because she was afraid because he's a silicone. You got to be gentle with him. It's, yeah. I'm not going to change his diaper. His silicone is really, really, really soft too. Like, I've had silicone babies and the hair sticks to them. Hairs stick to them a lot. And this is like a, more of a staticky thing. Like, hair will stick to him, but it's not that bad. Well, I should have gone down. But I didn't. Ugh. I gotta go get his brush. Hold on. I gotta get his comb and his conditioner. Well, my toothbrush, not a comb, actually. I am in the company of my two dogs. My puppy, Chihuahua. Oh my gosh. My hair all the place look at his skin texture it's not the skin texture she wanted like he's a little bit more iridescent than she wanted but it was one of her first and she didn't really know how much pigment to put in he's got a cute little bum bum too it's adorable but we're not gonna show it off because that's your bum bum and his little belly button look at belly button okay so I'm going to put the onesie on like this. I'm hoping during taxes, because I have some money saved up still, probably I will anyway soon. Um, during taxes, I can get her new baby, baby Alex, if she can get some more pores out of them, because out of a mold, you can only get so many pores. I know that before the before the mold starts to. I don't. I don't actually know because I've never done it, but I do know it is work because I bought a bunch of clay. The clay was over a hundred dollars to do a newborn size baby, and it took me like three months just to do a body and a couple of hands and a head. And I still haven't attached the head to the body, and I haven't made any feet, and the ears don't look right. I just, I don't know. I might be just really criticizing myself a lot, but it's not what I pictured in my head, so that's why I haven't finished it. And it started to crack, because I let it set for too long. Look at him. Look at these lips. Okay. Can you see, oh, can you see his little lips? I'm pretty... his little chin. I'm gonna add color to his um, nostrils, I think. 
his little mom. Boop, boop. Okay. Sometimes I get rough, too rough with him, it looks like. But. He'd be alright. He'd be alright. He had a bath, but I don't want to give him too many baths. I don't want his matting powder. He's really soft. He doesn't even need it. I never need, I haven't, well, I just had him for a day now, but I don't see him needing powder for a while. She just matted him right before she sent, rematted him, I guess. But I'm going to learn how to mat the baby because if he gets shiny, I'm going to want to mat him again because his skin is so soft. This is cute, little monsters. Give me a little hand. I don't want to pull his fingers. I gotta stop changing him, really. <laughs> but baby's just so cute in their little sleepers and their little clothes, and I love baby clothes shopping. And I can't do that anymore. My baby is 16. She's going to be 17 in a couple weeks. Not ready for grandchildren. Well, I am, but she's not ready for kids. My son is 20. So maybe. I don't know. We're going to do his hair. He keeps it nice and soft. Let's see. But you got to do it gentle, and you always have to make sure it's wet when you do this. From him, from me moving him around and laying him down a lot today, it's getting like tangled in the back. But the good thing about knowing how to do it is when he starts to lose some of his hair, I can redo it. And that's not always the case for some people. They don't haven't learned how to root hair, so they end up with a baby. That was my stomach. End up with a baby that hair starts to fall, and that's unfortunate. But there are videos if you want to learn how to root. So if anybody has a baby and the hairs are falling out, and they want to learn how to root with a silicone, you can't seal. You can't seal the hair because there's no inside of the head to glue. But there he is, guys. Bye.